Hey everybody, it's Matt here. Uh, it is Thursday, August what third, uh, and I'm out here in the garage. You'll see the '63 behind me there. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple things today, uh, but I wanted to throw a quick video together to talk about an issue I had last week. Um, for people who follow the uh, Blue Boat Garage Facebook page, you already know about it. I had two different ignition system failures in the same week on two different cars. The only commonality, besides them being Fords, was the manufacturer of the uh, ignition systems. Assembled rotor. So I'm gonna flip the camera around here real quick and uh, show you what I'm talking about. So here on the 63, um, anybody who's been paying attention to this, you watched, I had that big giant HEI distributor on here for a while when I first got it, uh, swapped it out. That is a Protronics brand new stock look cast uh, electronic ignition distributor. The coil that's right there is the correct coil. Uh, you can all even zoom in here. Uh, it's a 1.5 ohm. That's what they tell you to run uh, with their either their conversion, drop-in conversions, or their stock look distributors. So I was driving this thing to work last Monday uh, at the gun store. Driving in, got about seven miles from my house, and poof, engine is dead. Um, you can see where the coils mounted on this engine. That's not an uh, unusual place for Ford coils to be mounted. That's where the factory mounted them on the small blocks and on some other engines as well. So uh, I started diagnosing. I had fuel, I had compression, so therefore I was next thing I checked was spark and I had no spark. Uh, I was hoping it wasn't my distributor that had died, uh, so I checked to see if I had any spark coming out of the coil and I had nothing, so I got a hold of my kid on the phone, had him bring me this old beater original Ford coil off of his T-Bird. I bolted it up, wired it up, and the car fired right up. So it was the ignition coil that had died. Um, Pertron, and the coil was three weeks old. Um, it was their part number 40011, I think, um, which was their oil-filled 1.5 ohm coil. Um, doing some research, people were saying that oil-filled ones were having some fa high failure rates. They suggested running the epoxy-filled coils, um, and this is the epoxy-filled replacement, which is their part number 40111, if I remember the part numbers correctly. So, since I put it on here, it's been working fine. Um, that was Monday last week. Then Saturday, I took that beast there to a Cars and Coffee event. And I'm gonna come over here and open the hood here real quick. So, that, what you're looking at in there, is a bone stock factory Ford points distributor. So when I, when I built the engine for the boat, for the blue boat, I used this guy right here, which is a Pertronics Flamethrower Igniter 3 which is their top of the line electronic ignition. Uh, if you can see in there, it's got an adjustable rev limiter built into it. Um, it looks somewhat like a stock Ford distributor from the outside, but nothing inside is remotely stock looking. When I ordered the distributor, I did a little research and that distributor requires a 0 0.32 ohm coil. So that's what I have right here. Um, so I'm driving home from Cars and Coffee with my wife in the car and dead. Ignition failure. Uh, car started sputtering, uh, wouldn't take the gas, uh, just doing all kinds of weird stuff, and then it died. Um, so pull over on the side of the road. Eh, this time I was close. I was about three miles from home. Um, and start doing some diagnosing, and it's the ignition system. Um, the distributor 
is my best bet, best guess. Uh, this time it was the distributor that let go, not the coil. So I get my kid on the phone, call him up, and have him bring me a bone stock points distributor that's laying on the floor in the garage, a different set of plug wires, because I've got a, that rotor, that distributor had a male distributor cap on it, unlike factory Ford distributors, which had female caps on them. So he brings me a set of plug wires, the distributor, and a coil. Again, same coil that I used on the other car to, to get it to see if it was working. Side of the road, uh, what it, was, it was a cool day. I think it was like 95, doing a distributor swap on the side of the road. Uh, actually, not much on the side of the road, too. There was no shoulder, so I was partially in the road. Thankfully, it was a road with no traffic. So um, I'm not going to tell you not to buy Pertronics, um, but uh, I won't be buying them any longer. So, like I said, I won't be buying Pertronics in the future. However, you will see right here, this is a Pertronics drop-in points to electronic ignition conversion. Uh, that is sitting there because it came out of a stock Ford distributor that I have laying around here. Here's a, another stock Ford distributor that at one time had a Pertronics drop-in conversion in it. That one will also be getting points in a condenser again. So unfortunately, um, points in a condenser, if they start going bad, you can typically roadside fix them, carry a spare pair of points in a condenser in the, in the bag, in the trunk of your car, and it's one screw, you need a screwdriver and the parts. And the parts are cheap if it does fail. But typically, the thing will just start running rough. It just doesn't die and leave you dead, stranded on the side of the road. So unfortunately, um, I've lost all faith in the Pertronic stuff. Um, oh, by the way, so this is my 70 Ford F-250, which has a rebuilt 360 in it. And you may notice that is a Pertronics flamethrower ignition in this thing as well. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. Um, I'm probably gonna leave it for now because it's been in here for several years and has been reliable. But in the future, I, unfortunately, I won't be buying any Pertronic stuff in the future just based on two failures, two different systems, two different cars in one week. Not, uh, not very confident in stilling. So anyway, um, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, I'm going to be plugging away on the uh, 63 here. Got a new trunk liner for it, and I got a few other things I got to do. And then probably tomorrow or maybe this weekend, I'm going to tear the front suspension out of this thing and rebuild it. Anyway, uh, have a good one.